slight bubbling, but that's fine. <laughs> Check out my new boat. I'm excited to introduce it to the average Joe Angling crew and see what they think. It needs some work, so we're going to show you how we're going to get this old boat ready for the summer. I'm sure we're going to make plenty of mistakes along the way, but that's part of the fun. The tires were pretty worn down the day I picked it up, so the first thing we did was replace them. You know, that's kind of... The axle on the trailer was pretty bent. But we don't have any major road trips planned for this boat, so it should be fine. Now that the tires are fixed, we're ready to take it home and get to work. For the most part, it just looks a little dirty and worn down. Nothing that a little elbow grease can't fix. We were told the motor runs, so we're confident we can get it started, but we're gonna leave that for later. This part looks not too bad though. 48. The floorboards are completely rotted, so we're gonna rip those out and replace them. Shouldn't be any problem for the three of us. It falls through. It's great style. <laughs> Let's keep this. We're gonna need to know what size. Now that the floorboards are taken out, we have an idea of exactly what we'll need to replace the floor. Here's our list. Four by eight piece of plywood, one two by four, some brackets, metal screws, nuts, bolts, washers, some bolt carpet, and some staples. That should be it for now. Let's go. Just got back from shopping, now it's time to get to work. He's got the clog, so move one side at a time. While I'm power washing, Jeff and Alex are gonna seal the floor with some wood stain I found laying around the house. You can't use green treated wood, as it'll eat away at the aluminum. And this is much cheaper than some of our other options. It's a simple fix. Oh yeah. Looks better than what I got here. All the debris in there. Holy well, that's smokes. what I said. It went bounds and leaps in a matter of an hour. What we find, What is this? It's a table. I'm gonna test out this 30 year old trolling motor see if it still works. I don't need to attach it. It's not gonna move us anywhere. Oh, listen to that. Got our full tilt. Holy shit, that is like a kid ready for you to start going in. Do it, run it. Stop it, real collapse. That's pretty yeah. solid. Stronger, longer. Stronger, longer, min. Coda. We're going to use the old boards as a template for our new board so we know exactly how it's supposed to fit. Hold it down. There you go. My power tool is just going to rip right through here. Let's go see how good these fit. Yeah, that's solid. Actually, John's side looks... This is a fit. That looks like... Okay, get the marker. We're careful to put a mark on each board so we know exactly which way the board's supposed to fit. Front, front, front of the back, front of the back, front, back. Back, back. 
front, front. I think I think we got to mark where the brackets are going. What do you guys think? I think you got to put the uh, carpet on first, set it in there, and then mark off where the brackets line up. That makes sense. Well, you're going to want to put new bracket holes anyways, because these are going to be, these holes are already used, so and we got different brackets, so we can put them really wherever we want. As we fit the boards in the boat, we realize it's not as stable as we'd like it to be. This is where the 2x4 comes in. Uh, probably 2x4. <laughs> Alright, All right. let's see if it fits. Might well, be good. What's the purpose of that? Protect it from bowing down with some people standing on top. We screw half of a 2x4 down the middle of each board to give them a little backbone. Astro Turf time! Like you can cut and then fold that. Yeah. But we got staple on side so we can squeeze it. Do it real good. Nice. It's tight though. Crank it! I think that's about as tight as it's gonna get. You ever wrapped a present before? No. I'm bad at wrapping presents. Oh yeah, it is. Slight bubbling, but that's fine. <laughs> After we install the carpet, we need to make sure the boards still fit. Oh baby! Like a glove. Okay, we got sheet metal screws sheet to metal mount screws. the the brackets into this bench, and then you got nuts and bolts with washers for the L bracket right here. Because this board's inevitably going to get wet. What happened on the previous board was that the screws just completely rotted through, and the L brackets were doing nothing. So. You get that washer to create more surface area on the brackets, and that's going to keep yeah. it nice and tight. Mark these holes because it's hard to see it through the grass. Tapping in boards here. We're going to get our nuts and bolts together. Now we just need to secure them to the boat. So there's a big gap. We're gonna try and wedge that through. At the end of day one, what did we accomplish? Pretty good day. Got a new floor and a new boat. Old boat. Next is to test out the motor. Strip these down a little bit. Paint them. Paint the benches. Get the seats installed. Seats installed. Another day, another project. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button to see what else we're up to.